wear a stethoscope and they'll basically let you in anyway. It's crazy. Hmm. Well, yeah, I got into the Houses of Parliament yesterday and I'm pretty sure they were going to swear me in as Prime Minister before I was like, oh no, it was a joke. I was just mucking around. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose you could pretend to be a doctor as well, if you fancy it, but... I mean, I wouldn't. We don't get paid as much as you think. But we'll always do our job. And that's what matters, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, why are we here? No. Not in the, um... Not in the grand existentialist. I mean, like, why today? Why are we here? I'll tell you. It's written down here. Health check. It says it'll take 20 to 30 minutes. What do you reckon? Shall we try to break that record? And by that, I mean take even longer than it recommends. Trigger for 40 minutes. Yeah, I've got time, why not? <laughs> How are you doing today? Okay. Mm. The lights are a little dim. Yeah, didn't pass their GCSEs. I'm joking. It's, I don't think you, can you fail GCSEs? I don't know if you can nowadays. Back when I took them, I think ungraded you was the worst you could do. I don't know if that's different now. But that was an okay joke. What I mean is the lights are actually quite low in here because a lot of patients recently have been suffering from photosensitivity. And I too, much like um, Jason Isaacs in that Star Trek series. I too suffer from photosensitivity. That doesn't mean I'm some kind of bad boy Star Trek captain from a different dimension, don't worry. Just means that, um, well, my eyes are a little hypersensitive to light in general. So that's why. A reasonable explanation. But we're not here to talk about me being a Star Trek captain or commander, I think a captain, from another dimension, are we? No. We're here to talk about you and your health. Because it's been a while since you were in, and we need to make sure that you're ticking over okay, so I can go tick, 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 and give you a clean bill of health. That's the objective here. Not to explore strange new worlds or anything remotely science fiction. We're dealing in science fact. The science fact being that your health is important. You're important. It's my job to make sure that you know how important that is, but also to make sure that you're okay. So we're going to start off we're going to do a lot of a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff on the list but we're going to start off just asking a few questions if that's all right to check check your health okay if you can hear a bulb clicking in the background don't be alarmed so lifestyle lifestyle and family history so just very quickly, we're going to be checking a lot of different things today, um, mainly to do with homeostasis and your general physiology. Um, but it's always handy to know whether any of your close relatives have had any illnesses, um, whether that be, I mean, it could be a cold or something or something a bit more long standing, for example, diabetes or anything like that. So is there any history? 
of any illness in your family, recent or otherwise. All right. Okay. And just to make it clear, I ain't here to judge you. I do not have that within my purview, within my raison d'etre, within my, um, what do you call it, jurisdiction. Okay, I'm not here to judge you. If you smoke, if you drink, even if you do drugs, I won't judge you, all right? But I just need to make sure you're okay and that you're aware that anything in excess or without moderation can be bad for you, okay? I don't need to tell you that smoking, drinking, and drug abuse is bad for your body, for your mental health, etc. So I won't, although I just did. But mainly, I want you to know that if you feel that anything like that is on top, has gone on top of you, you feel a bit overwhelmed, or you'd like to talk about maybe reducing any of those three things, we can talk about that and we'll support you, not chastise you, not make you feel bad. We'll let you know that it's normal and we're here to help. Having said that, how much do you smoke? Now, if you do smoke, how much? It's expensive as well. Believe me, I smoke. Yeah, I know, a doctor. The main thing is for me is the cost. How do they get away with it? It's like they're not necessarily good companies, right? Like they're not necessarily, they haven't got the uh, well-being of their consumer in mind. All right, so how much alcohol, if you drink, do you consume in units if you want? Yeah, per week, please. I know. It's like every other Sunday, it seems that they come out with a new study that finds, oh, a glass of wine a day is actually good for you. Oh, oh, it turns out a bottle of wine in the morning, just before breakfast, sets you up for the day. I think best probably just to ignore articles and things like that and just listen to your body. If, <laughs> if you have a glass of wine, with your dinner, I think that's okay. If you're having a bottle of wine with your dinner, unless it's in the, unless it's in the tomato-based sauce that you've lovingly prepared, then maybe, maybe it's a problem. But like I said, no judgment. Just let me know, or anyone else you feel comfortable with the practice, if you feel it's just, if there's something wrong, you know? Otherwise, you do you. Drugs, okay. Hmm. I fully support supporting those who use drugs, not criminalizing them. So again, if you're using drugs and you need help, let us know and we can safely help you with that rather than you being made to feel like a criminal, all right? Now, if you're a drug dealer or, or something, or you're making billions from some kind of drug trade, we might have a problem. I might have to report you to the police, but just to confirm, all right, okay. See, this part's taking a lot longer than it should already because I'm mucking around, I apologize. Anyway. How much physical activity do you do in a week? Yeah, I mean, every day is a fresh start, right? You don't have to wait till New Year to make a resolution. You can choose, oh, today I'm gonna do two push-ups. That's an achievable exercise, hopefully. If not, try something else, a squat or a run, go for a two minute run, a jog, a walk, achievable goals. 
and those goals grow each week. You know, well, I did two push-ups yesterday. Maybe on the weekend I'll do three. Sounds silly, but those little, little incremental gains, as I believe people say, add up and it makes you feel good. Because imagine down the line, after you've done, you started off doing two, a few months later, you're doing 10 push-ups or 20 push-ups a day. You're going to feel like an MMA fighter. One of the nice ones. I don't know which ones are nice. I don't, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Any physical activity is good. All right. Oh, I think, I think that'll do. How old are you? It's, it's, it's in the questionnaire. I'm not just, yeah, I'm not. Wait a minute, how old are you? All right. Okay, so I've just got to take your height and waist. That's okay. So I'll just pop that down. And as we are now moving on to more of a physical element, glove, glove. I've got lots of love for wearing gloves. Not only is it hygienic, but they look cool and at least I think they sound cool. Alright. What did I say we were going to do? Measure your height. I haven't got one of those fancy million foot rulers. So we're going to use good old fashioned tailor tape. Okay. So if you do me a favor, actually, yeah, if you just hook that under your foot, perfect. All right, let's take a little look, see you. Do, do, do. Stand up straight for me, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Just let me pop that. Yeah, keep straight like that. Perfect. Okay. Taller than me, eh? Good. Waste. Wasteland. No. I, if it's all right. Could I possibly take your waist measurement? Again, just wrap it round. Getting a little close, sorry. Here we go. Is that okay? Oops. Perfect. And that is that. Just chuck it away. Alright, so what's next? Your weight. But wait. Look, where are you stood? Yeah, that's right. Built in scale. So don't worry about that. Are you comfortable with your weight? Well, health wise, weight is what it is. Happiness is more important. To me anyway so are you happy with your weight if you are great if not we can talk about how to get happier with it and to get happier with yourself I want you to be able to look in the mirror and smile because you should smile because you look great that's my professional opinion by the way all right okay um well for whatever reason, I left the blood monitor at home. Personal project. So I will just take your pulse if that's all right. So what I'd like you to do, pull your sleeve down for me. Left hand okay? Cool. Pop around, rest your wrist just here. And I'm just gonna take my middle and forefinger and just count your pulse, okay? That's it. There we go. Relax. You keep your arm. You're over at 90 degrees. Yeah. 
is the same. If it's under 120, we're cooking the gas. All right. Now, the crux of the entire thing. Just let me get my, I shouldn't have checked the clipboard over there. Wait, two takes. Here we go. Sorry. Dead. Useless. Let me write down those measurements. How are you doing? Good. That's what I like to hear. All right. Top two tail. Top two tail. That's what we're going to check. Your health. It is important. We. It's so important. We're going to check everything. First things first. Balance. Balance. We've been going on about a fair bit recently. Is a very good indicator to us of general well-being, especially in handsomely mature patients. So what I'd like you to do, a bit like Johnny Guard, stand on one leg. I'm doing it too, so don't worry. Stand on one leg. Let's just count one, two. Okay, that's fine. It feels a bit silly. Do the other foot. See, I'm a bit more wobbly on lefting. Left behind. All right. I sight, I spy with my little eye something beginning with E, which is I. Why don't they just write I? Anyway. So what I like you to do? Let me put this down again. Sorry. Use a pen, appendage. What do we have? A pen. Look at the pen. For me, please. And so, keep your eye on it. Don't move your head, please. Come in a little closer. Don't move your head, and follow the pen with your eyes and sit up and down and all around mm -hmm. perfect now I'm going to turn on the light on the pen it's quite bright so you see mm -hmm. again follow with your eyes not yet. Just around up and down, left and right, all around. And you're all right. Now, what I'd like to do is with the light again, it's quite bright. Let's take a little closer look at your eyes. Is that okay? And I mean, when I say a little closer, I mean I like a lot closer. So bear with me. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Right, let's take a look. Okay. All right, look right for me, please. And now look left. Look down. Look up. Look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, look down for me, please. Mm -hmm. Now look up. Good. Eye wise. Eye wise. Okay. Next up, I've got this here tuning fork. Now, it's quite pitchy, like me singing, but it's C, 
natural, naturally. I'm gonna whack it and run it over your head. This is for your ears, for your hearing, in case you hadn't guessed. And like you just to let me know sort of how it sounds when you stop hearing it, that sort of thing. So it's gonna sound like this. So you soft. Okay, and I'm not gonna do that. Okay. How's that? Not quite loud enough. Bleeding thing. Bit muffled. All right, hold on. Is it all right if I take a quick look at you? Ears, in that case. Yeah? Okay. Do you mind? So we'll start with the left ear, if that's okay. Cool. Right, take a look. So there's a little bit of wax in your right ear. So I'm just gonna really quickly, if it's all right, just take it out. I've got tweezers here. Let's take a quick look, all right? Two seconds. Oops. a whistle. All right. So I spy a great looking person who's doing well, doing very well, very well. So next up, I need to check your musculoskeletal stuff, your face. How are you? express, not in that way, but I mean like your physical movement, basically. All right. So what I'd like you to do, please, is just give me a big, broad smile. Ignore the seagull chick. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now give me a frown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now puff up your cheeks. Mm -hmm. Grit your teeth for me, please. Mm -hmm. And scrunch up your eyes, like that. And open them. Boop. Scrunch up your eyes. 
and open them and say ah for me okay so it's all right I'm just gonna gently touch different parts of your face and you tell me how it feels whether it's cold to the touch whether you can feel it at all whether it just feels normal here all right here we go how's that Okay. Good. It's all good. All right. Now, my identification. The thing that identifies me as a doctor, the stethoscope. What I'm going to do first, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do your heart and your lungs. So, first off, I'm just going to take a listen to your heart. Now, I'm going to place this in your chest. It's quite cold. So, I'll try to warm it up a little bit first. All right. Please don't suddenly say anything because it's quite sensitive and if you shout into it or if your heart shouts something at me, it might hurt me. We'll be okay. All right, ready? Okay, you ready? It's going very close. Okay. This time, I'm going to put the stethoscope on your back and put my left hand on your front, okay? Is that okay? And I want you to breathe in. And then when you breathe in, I'm going to count down from five. I'd like you to try to exhale for that, okay? So breathe in. And five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect, well done. One more time. Breathe in. And five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Pulled out a hair. That hurt. Never mind. Wonderful, perfect. So, with that in mind, what I'd like to do now, and it's the final bit you'll be pleased to hear, is just test your reflexes. So all that's gonna entail, and I'm not gonna use a hammer or anything scary like that, not that, not that they're particularly scary, but I'm gonna ask you to just pop your arm, respectively, each one, not your one arm, and I'm gonna tap in certain parts and I'd just like you to respond you know um, audibly let me know how you're doing but also you will uh, physically respond as well beyond your control so let's see your right arm first so if you'd be kind enough please place it in my hand mm -hmm. like that don't worry I've got you thank you and Okay, and next, left arm. 
place it in my hand. Thank you very much. And Okay, all good. I am going to quickly just ask you to do a bit more of the eye stuff because I did skirt over a little bit and I'm worried that I didn't get all the data that is helpful to us. Is that okay with you? It shouldn't take too much longer. And I don't think we're gonna smash our record to 40 minutes, but you never know. All right, so I'm gonna shine the light in every corner of the world. I'm gonna ask you to follow it with your eyes, not with your head. So just look left, right, up, down, wherever it goes. And at points I'll bring it in really close and then pull it out really far away, okay? Remember it's bright. Brighter than my light zone, certainly brighter than me. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Getting close. I'm far away. I'm getting close. I'm far away. Just have a quick look in your eyes again. Sorry. Oh, I know the fuss spot, but what am I to do? Look right. Look left. Look down. Go down. Nothing to worry about. Sorry, I just wanted to double check, just in case. Ooh, because you know. You're here. So why not? I'm going to forego doing blood tests today because needles is needles. Um, but given what you said about your family history, I think we should be okay. So, finally. Yeah, I li well, I didn't lie. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was the last bit of the physical examination. There's just a couple more questions. I tricked you. I didn't really. I need to ask you, how are you? Hmm. No, not physically. Your general sense of well being, how are you feeling yourself? How is your life? How are you going? How are you going, mate? That sort of thing. So how are you going, mate? All right. I know that in our culture, the British culture, there tends to be this thing where someone, if someone asks, how are you? You just say, fine. You just say, I'm fine. Good, thanks, how are you? That sort of thing. And you kind of don't want people to answer. You don't want people to ask. But I want you to know that it's okay to be not fine. It's okay if you don't feel great. It's okay if you feel sad. I also want you to know that you don't have to feel that way alone too, okay? So if you feel that way, Often, you know, we try to fight it. We try to cheer ourselves up or convince ourselves that, you know, we're being silly or that our feelings don't matter, but they do matter. And if you're feeling away, sometimes it's best just to sit with that, to let yourself feel it. Sometimes you might work out if there's a why, and sometimes there isn't a why, it's just the feeling. But no, it's okay to not be okay. And if you need to talk about anything at all, you can talk to me. I don't know why you'd want to. You can though. You can talk to anyone if you want. You don't just have to talk to yourself, but that's okay too. But you know, we want to make sure you're all right. And that is as much about all the cartoonish tests that we do to check your physiology and how you're doing physically. But just as important, arguably, if not more, but it all contributes to 
the well-being of you is your mental health. And so just let me know. You don't have to verbally say anything either. You can nod to let me know that you're not okay. Or you can dance to let me know you are. Or you can even write down how you feel. And you can give that to me or anyone else you want to. Because sometimes it can be difficult to talk about how we feel. When we get embarrassed or we get emotional. You don't need to feel embarrassed. But just know that you're safe. And you're heard if you need to be. If you want to be. But you never Now that was a question really, was it? What am I talking about? But what I'll do, this, I'm going to leave. You can read, it's all the notes I made about, about you. And I will even leave my, my pen. I'm, I'm unarmed now. The one with the light on, right? Please don't take it. If you do, it's fine, we've got loads. And what I'd like to do is, I'm gonna leave you here. You can relax. There's some CDs of 90s grunge music and the CD player that I have here, if you wanna have a listen to that. Uh, there's a comfy seat just there. Take a moment, if you want to, you don't have to, write down how you feel. Um, I'll leave you to it, and I won't pop back in. I do have another equally wonderful, but not quite as cool patient to see. Um, but I will pick up the notes, and I'll read whatever you've written. And if you want me to, we can talk about it when we next see one another. All right, or I can get one of my friends, professional friends, not just one of my, not just my mate, who's a bus driver, although he's great, you know, he's a philosopher in a way, but someone qualified if you want, or me, and we'll talk, and we'll talk through, if you have indeed written anything at all, but take this time for yourself, relax, and if you don't write anything, just chill for a bit, but I'm going to bounce, I don't know how he did time-wise, did we beat the record? Maybe. Write it down on there. Give me a review. Don't. Unless you want to. But anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Otherwise, yeah. Take a moment. Relax. I'll be back after you've gone. So you've got, got all the time. I'm in a different room for the next one. But in the meantime, you're great. You're awesome. You're cool. You're healthy. Hang on to that and have a great week, month, year. It's a new one, right? It always is. It's always a new year. And you know, the old you was fine, so stay the course. All right, I'm gonna walk out the door there, but I'm gonna pretend to walk down steps like some people do when they're trying to be funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do that. Okay, all right, bye.